Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Slightly Original. My name is PJ. My name's Scott. And this is episode 38. 38. 38. 38 weeks. Oh my God. We say that every week. I know. It's, it's been this weird many weeks. Time. Like we're surprised that we've made it this long. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it's exciting anyway. Guys, episode 38, Sony PlayStation, StarCraft Code, and Twitch swatting fiascos. Oh a my. Lots going on. A ton of great news and content and other goodies for you guys tonight so let's get right into the show scott <laughs> Jesus Christ. i sometimes i hate myself when i say that but at the same time i feel like it's I'm, funny i'm kind of good at it so yeah. it's like one of the only like you have so many impressions that you do i love your canadian impression actually reno probably appreciates it reno does appreciate it yeah. also does not but that's okay no well don't care can't so, don't always get what you want but uh, yeah, so the, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Farpoint! Farpoint! Tell us Far about Point. Farpoint. We've talked about it before. We have. It's actually coming out next week. I can't believe it, man. Yeah, I know, right? We talked about it back when the VR headset yeah. came out. Yeah, we're going to do a, oh, we're we're have to do a first impression on it because uh, I got a pre order that's on its way next week. <sighs> Are you serious? Yeah. Mm. And this is the one, the, the $79 version of Farpoint comes with the peripheral. Yes. I think yeah. there's, is there only one version of it? Do they have? You do can, they sell the game separately? I don't know. Actually, I have no idea. I don't know. But let's get into it. I just looked up. I just like I want the gun because I need the gun, right? So yeah. I just well, let's let's way. talk about the gun. Let's talk sure. about the peripheral for a second, okay? So it's its own thing, specifically yes. made for the game, right? Okay. And in VR, in some of the games, for actually, can you grab those real quick for me? Sure the, can. the move controllers. I can't bend. I can't bend That's forward. okay. I got it. Okay. <laughs> uh, so part of the awesome immersion. That is uh, PlayStation VR. Um, they brought back the Move controllers, which sure. are these right here. They're like little Wiimotes. Yeah. yeah, I'll put them. Down. Yeah, I just, yeah, I just want to show them off real quick. But the uh, the the gun, the laser. What's it called? Laser gun. Make pew pew. <laughs> yeah, that's what I. That's what I put the notes. That's laser gun called. make pew pew. That's what it's called from now on. The laser gun pew make pew pew. Yeah. So it has essentially it's like two of these like built into the gun. Yes, exactly. Right. Uh, and it does uh, feature a... Uh, does this have a D-pad on it? No, no it does not. Um, the, the, there's a... Connect, like, you know how the Wiimote has, like, the one that connects? Sure. Yeah, so that's... Oh, okay. So it's like a... There's another part, but okay. you don't... You don't you, got you don't it, got it. it. Uh, so it's, like, dongled, pretty much. Yes. Okay. So, yeah, it has a D-pad on it. It has all, you know, four buttons, a circle, square, triangle, whatever. Um, and uh, I do believe it does have, um, like, an actual trigger. Not like uh, a trigger button, but like an actual trigger for it. Okay. Button. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it looks pretty weird, um, but it also kind of goes in line with the style of the PSVR headset. Like the aesthetic of it um, is like if you took a, a PSVR headset and a motion controller and they had a baby and it was a gun, that's what it would look like. That's actually strangely yeah. accurate yeah so yeah i mean it's not uh, it's not <laughs> ugly it's just odd just not right it's not what yeah, you would it's think it's not like a normal looking thing. but uh when we were at pax east we saw it in action and it actually looked legit it looked like it was it, it worked perfectly well with the game oh yeah so we were standing there for a while watching uh you know uh people play the game we didn't uh get the chance to play it because we didn't want to wait in line yeah the, but oh uh, even the, before the show yeah even before the show there was a line when we can get in early uh and it was like no i don't want to do yeah, that so can just buy it yeah um but it looks great i mean uh you know it comes out on the 16th it's 79.99 for the game and the gun which isn't too bad no. um it's actually super way cheaper than i thought it was going to be right with a with a peripheral yeah. included yeah 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 uh so so i guess the the talking point for this is like is it is it just like another crap peripheral that you're only going to use for this game or do you think that they're going to start developing games more for uh this this gun now that it's a thing now that it's a thing you can get i want to hope i want to hope first of all and we we can't say for sure 
whether or not the functionality of it looked one to one. It looked great. Yeah, it looked great. Yeah. When we were watching them at PAX. But here's the thing: like, if the functionality of it is isn't great, then people aren't going to want to develop and use it. But VR, man, like an on rails like first person V, like a, a shooter in VR. VR is it's made for that. Sure. Man. For it's not obviously, a rail it's, shooter. It's not. So you no. can, you move yourself around. You move yourself with the gun. That's why I said there's a D pad and stuff on it. You move yourself with the gun. See, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That is that's it, man. If if and make it so you don't that's the thing though is is the motion sickness that's the problem that they right. need to curb yeah. right but if it's if it's a smooth like steady movement and it 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 doesn't give you the motion sickness and everything which we haven't done vr in a little bit so it's yeah. kind of like you know um, gonna have to get used to it yeah, we're gonna have to get used to it again because yeah. we were playing vr for quite a bit yeah you got to play e valkyrie with a bucket in front of you yeah for the, <laughs> for the first like couple hours it's like yeah i may die yeah it's a yeah. great game but my god <laughs> Yeah, but I hope so, man. I honestly hope that like they utilize it because like otherwise it's just another piece of plastic that's gonna be yeah. sitting around in my house for it's collecting dust. Because right. you're gonna play the game, you'll probably beat the game, and then you might not play the game again. You know, so when, what am I gonna do with that? I'm not gonna show it off. It's nothing to, it's nothing to like show off, write home about. But <laughs> my bad. No, you're good. Trying to, trying to get in the <laughs> shot. Like, there's there's man. a ghost <laughs> foot. <laughs> there's a ghost foot in the shot. Foot in the shot. Foot in the shot. We got a foot in the shot, guys. <laughs> but, uh, but but yeah, yeah that's that's my concern is like the farpoint looks like a great game the gun looks like it works perfectly with that type of game i'm just hoping that it's not like something i'm gonna buy and then never use again after i beat farpoint you know what i mean right so so we'll see you know what would be great what's that have it work with like resident evil 7 that would be perfect that would be that would be the perfect game for it right? actually Instead of having to use the stick, you can yeah. just, just turn the gun. Exactly. I don't know, man. Capcom. Tweet everybody tweet at Capcom. All right. Yeah, come on, Capcom. Let's go. All right, let's make it happen. But yeah, um, dude, it's cool, man. Uh, you know what? I'd like as much as I like I you know what I do really like peripherals. I like new peripherals. I do too, but it's I don't fun. I don't like uh like one trick pony peripherals where it's like, oh you're only gonna work for this thing and then that's like it. Like DJ Hero. Like DJ Hero, for what a example. Garbage game DJ <laughs> Hero was. What a what a bad game yeah i usually don't i don't usually <laughs> review games and just say bad but <laughs> i was not a fan of that game i was very and i got it on sale i got it for like 40 bucks and i was just not pleased with it so if you're a fan of it i apologize <laughs> but i'm entitled to my opinion plus this is my show yeah fair enough I mean, say what i want right r2 fair enough bleep blah, so, bloop. so yeah we're, uh, we're we're looking forward to that far point next week it comes out we'll be doing a video we will coming be. in hot next as soon as that releases so look 16th. out for that the 16th cool the 88th yeah. the 88th yeah yeah so <laughs> looking forward to it yeah, uh forward to it. It, it was a game uh that i've been looking forward to for a little bit now for psvr so i'm, I'm stoked for it yeah. yeah yeah so look forward to that um otherwise move it on to our next talking point mm. we've got mm, drum roll please the good guy gamer of the week I don't know. I saw it's the, your shtick, dude. I like, saw do the it. opportunity. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I can't yeah. commit to a good sh like a shtick. Uh, I like in my head. I know isn't very funny. I can't commit yeah. to it fully. So it's just kind you got to change the way you think, man. You just got to say yeah, this is going to be dumb, but it's going to be awesome. So but it's going to be awesome. It. Just do it. Wow. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't man, even that. I couldn't see. I can do that, but not with that. No. No. Well, you know. Good guy, gamer of the week. So this guy picked up a box of like old Blizzard memorabilia, right? Hell yeah. And. Uh, had some like you know old odds and ends and stuff in it, and he bought it. I don't know if he got it at a garage sale or off a of Craigslist or something. But in the box, little CD, a little gold CD. Oh, the source code for a little known game called Starcraft. Whoa, <laughs> okay, <laughs> like a, a major like tentpole in Blizzard's uh, repertoire. And he had the source code for it, which if that leaks, I mean, you can do whatever you want to the game. You can do whatever you want to their infrastructure, sure. anything, man. It, it would have been, it would have been, because they just re-released StarCraft in HD yeah. too. So, I mean, I don't know how much they changed in, in the HD release of it, but I mean, that would have been, that would have been detrimental, right? So this guy um, takes a picture of it, posts it to Reddit mm -hmm. and is asking for advice. Like, hey, I don't know, like, am I going to be in trouble? Is this going to be like something that could get me into, you know, legal legal trouble with Blizzard. And it's like, well, no. First of all, he didn't know that he was getting that. And second of all, um, you know, he had gotten it, like, in, like, fair and square in a deal. Sure. He had bought it, right? Yeah. 
which how it ended up in that box to begin with is a miracle, uh, a mystery. But yeah, so he um, was contacted by somebody at Blizzard and he ended up giving it back. Yeah. Oh, instead of because yeah. he got a bunch of like like offers for people to buy it. Yeah. Right. And instead of selling it and making, I don't know, maybe a couple, you know, tens of thousands. Sure. For the source code to, to, to StarCraft. Yeah. He, uh, yeah, he gave it back to Blizzard. So, oh, good for yeah, him. Blizzard man. was stoked, man. So they gave him a whole bunch of free stuff. And oh, then bet, yeah. they ended up hooking him up. They were like, hey, yeah, we want to take you out for beers and here's some tickets to BlizzCon. Jeez, yeah, so that they were ja- they were jazzed about yeah. it. Yeah, because that could have been that could have been very bad. Oh, absolutely. And that's that's cool, man. It's kind of funny that like the source code for such a major game just kind of ended up in a box. But I don't know, man. That's really cool. That's really kind of a cool story, and you don't really hear about that. And I, the disc looked really cool too. It looked like solid right. gold, like a solid gold. Which I don't. Uh, no, I don't have a picture of it. But no. um, but yeah, it looked really cool, man. So, shouts out to that guy. You yeah, know, for, seriously. Being, for being the good gamer of the week, Damn. the good guy, man, the white knight that we all need in the gaming industry. Okay. Yeah, he really could have screwed Blizzard over, made yeah at least ten grand. Because I mean, source code is not something that you can just get. No, it's like it's it's that's it. Yeah, that's, it's super protected. Game. It's it's copyrighted. It's it's protected under several uh, you know software laws and things like that. It's it's yeah. serious business. So. Yeah. Which so good for him for being for doing the right thing, honestly. Yeah, for doing yeah. the right thing, man. Being a nice guy. We have a, we actually we have another talking point later in the show where we talk about something that was also kind of an industry, you know, like could have been a bad thing in the industry or a good thing, depending on your opinion. That somebody also found in a box. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. Yes. Um but we can talk about what's in the box. What's in the box? What's in the <laughs> The box. The F word box. Yeah. Brad Pitt. Yeah, Brad Pitt. Do you like that movie? Not really. Me either. No, actually, the only thing I really like about it is uh, Kevin Spacey is in it for like 10 minutes. Or no, no, I don't mean he's not in it for 10 minutes, but he doesn't show up until like more than halfway through the movie. Yeah. And then he's just covered in blood and has his fingertips all cut off. Yeah, how good was he in that movie? Hey, guys. Yeah. How good uh, was he? Kevin Spacey, man. Yeah, Kevin Spacey. Yeah. (laughs) That's my favorite part of the movie. But other than that, it's like, yeah, that's really funny. Yeah, because I was just talking about that actually with uh, with Smishmo, with my wife. Yeah. We were talking about how, uh, yeah, we don't like that movie. We're not fans of it. So, so yeah, shouts out to the good guy gamer of the week. Yeah. Good for you for go, not man. being a, nice a bag guy. of butts. But Dave, uh, our good friend Dave, is like, I guess some lawyers gave him like an ultimatum or something like that. Really? <laughs> yeah, that uh, he got a he got a talking to. So what are they going to do, man? He bought it. What are they? How are they going to yeah. sue him? It's like I didn't know I was buying it, you know? I don't know. Yeah. But either way, that's anyway. cool, man. In other news. In other news, yeah. Code Veronica X is coming to the PlayStation 4 yes. network. Yes, dude. For, just... uh, yeah, the uh, PS2 Classics section. I'm so glad so, they're doing that, yeah. man. It's really nice. It's really nice. They're releasing, at least Capcom has been all over it. Yeah, Capcom's been really big into, uh, you know, re-releasing or remastering uh, classic Resident Evil games. Yeah. Uh, you know, the the first Resident Evil remaster was done on the GameCube, and then later on uh, got released on all uh, major platforms this generation, you know, PS4, uh, Xbox One. And, uh, you know, there was a, a big move for the PS2 classics and PS1 classics on PlayStation to have, like, the original stuff on there. You can get the original director's cut of the first Resident Evil, the one that's not remastered, like the original one. Really? Yeah, on uh, PlayStation Network. You can get it on the Vita or the PlayStation 4. Um, not, no, not oh, P- probably PS3. Though. PS3, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I bad. wish they would My bring bad. the PS4. No, 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 because it's cool, man, because that's actually a good point. I'm glad I'm going to cut you off for one second. Why can you not get those old classics on the PS4? I don't know. That's coding of some kind. I don't. I would imagine. But I mean, they, it's the same issue Xbox had, but Xbox did something. But about they did it. something about yeah. it, right? Who I've knows? spent hundreds of dollars on like old like PS One classics, right? And, and other kind yeah, of. Yeah, I had all the classic Resident Evils on my Vita. All yeah, of them. Every so did I. I had yeah. yeah. I had well, I had two and three, and then I had all the old Final Fantasies on there too. Yeah, I had uh, one, two, uh, three, and I had one of the like. Uh, I had another Resident Evil game on there. I don't remember what it was. I think it might have been like uh, s- stories of some kind. Not the Operation Raccoon City one. Although, no, I might have had that. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't remember. Know. Something, something like that. Anyway, I had a few <laughs> Resident Evil games. Rad. Um, but so, back to the point. Yes. Uh, Code Veronica X is coming to the PlayStation 4 uh, network. This is, this is going to be the um, 
PlayStation 2 version. Uh, this is not going to be the original, uh, you know, Dreamcast version. Right. Because the PlayStation 2 version had updated graphics and it also had another nine minutes of uh, cutscenes that was not in the original uh, game. Uh, I keep wanting to call it GameCube. Dreamcast. The <laughs> Dreamcast version. Rest in peace, Dreamcast. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh... yeah, that's cool, man. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, shouts out, shouts out, shouts to, out to, to that to Capcom guys. Thanks, thanks for giving us more games. We love it. We love it. We have uh, we have five and four that I've been meaning to play through. Sure. Yeah. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah, good on him, man. Good on him for yeah. uh, four is great, man. I love that. I played it on the GameCube. I haven't played any like the updated versions of it because I knew I got it on Xbox One, but I yeah. got it. I got it on sale. See, I have this terrible habit of buying games on sale when they're super cheap and then never playing them. Just, just having them. I've seen it. Yeah. If, yeah. In case <laughs> we haven't, <laughs> in case we haven't talked about this enough, Scott's Xbox game library is extensive. Yeah. Well over 150 titles. There's got to be. Oh God, I don't know thousands of dollars worth of games in there which like he said he's a bargain shopper so he's bought them at a uh, bargain price that's right i that's bought them right. on sale he's a smart shopper smart shop shopper smart. alert shop s smart <laughs> yeah i don't know what did you say army darkness reference i said shop smart shop s smart this is my boomstick yeah that's right <laughs> i wasn't ready for army of darkness yeah reference, sorry man. sorry about that, that was... when was the last time army of darkness was referenced i'm not uh -huh. saying it's a bad movie right it's not a good movie it's not a good movie it's not a bad movie it's a, i think it's good yeah it's silly it's campy it's supposed it's to be. campy it's okay. supposed to be well campy. that's was it sam raimi yeah sam raimi it? yeah sam raimi man i don't know dark man was really good with Liam Neeson. Oh my God! Yeah. yeah, wow, dude. This is the tangent episode. This is the Sam, Sam Raimi. Raimi. Yeah, Sam Raimi Sam episode. Sam Raimi episode. <laughs> and we'll talk about Spider Man Three. We're not. <laughs> no, we are not. No, we're not going to talk about that. But you know, we will talk about what's that? Uh, the Nintendo PlayStation. <gasps> uh, yeah. So the Nintendo PlayStation. What happened with that? That sounds like an interesting story. So, <laughs> if you guys aren't familiar, way back. Probably, oh man, 25, yeah, early 20, 90s. almost 27 years. Yeah. It's got to be. Well, they were working on it actually probably about 25 years ago. Nintendo was competing with a, another game console company, Sega. They were competing with them in a, an, an, you know, how like Sony and Microsoft and Nintendo are. That, sure. that was the early 90s was Sega and Nintendo, right? So Sega had released the Sega CD. So in response, Nintendo wanted to have their own CD peripheral for the uh, for the Super Nintendo. So they shopped around and, and uh, worked out a prototype with Sony, believe it or not, and um, never went anywhere. Nintendo actually ended up going with Philips, yeah. and we all know how that went with the CDI. Yeah, we sure do. <laughs> it's, it's the Philips CDI. But you guys, if you guys don't know anything about the Philips CDI, keep it that way because it was abysmal. Yeah, just, just look up, just look up Legend of Zelda: <laughs> Wand of Gamelon, okay, and you'll understand why. <laughs> yeah, there are people that are like, "What the hell is a CDI?" Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Keep it that way, man. <laughs> so, like the Atari Jaguar, like just oh, just another CD-based game console. 3DO. Just, the, yeah, the 3DO. Oh my yeah. god, man. Anyway, but yeah, so <laughs> there's a whole laundry list of that. So this thing was not supposed to exist. The Sony PlayStation it was sure. a prototype. Um, nobody had ever. It was always rumored, and people had talked about it, but there was never actually a prototype that anyone had actually like seen outside of the the people that made it right sure so last year or maybe it was yeah it was about, it was about last year uh this guy had a box of like different like odds and ends from the company they worked at mm -hmm. and in that box was a prototype for the 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 nintendo playstation right it was it was a like a sony branded super nintendo a top loader super nintendo with a disc drive right and this I mean, it's it was huge, right? Because no one had ever seen it. It would only been like rumored. It would only been like you know, nobody knew that it existed, right? So they ended up shipping it off to an engineer. This guy, he does a, he has a YouTube channel, the the Ben. He does the Ben Hack Show actually, which is phenomenal. If you guys are into engineering, check him out. He's great. Um, because it didn't work. They couldn't figure out how to get the disc drive to work. Um, so they figured he's the kind of guy that does teardowns, does build ups, does his own builds give it to him maybe he can fix it right sure so like a year goes by 
and he's been working on it among other, you know, jobs that he's been doing and he, he fixed it the other day. Nice. Yeah. He, he actually, he got the disc drive to work. Now, um, people were able to unload the BIOS and they were able to make ROMs, able to make like emulators or an emulator and then to make like original games for the Nintendo PlayStation, right? Jeez. So now you have this new quote unquote new console, right? That now exists and people are developing for it. And I don't know, man, that is like, that's one of the coolest things ever. This console is over 20 years old, never been discovered. And now it's like, it's real. Sure. It works. There's only one of them. It's not like it's ever going to be mass produced. It's never going to be made. But I don't know, man. It's just funny to think like, and, and I and I kind of thought about this when I saw that video and I want to get your opinion. Okay. Like, what do you think the gaming industry would be like if Nintendo had gone with Sony? The Philips CDI, obviously, that that, that doesn't matter. That was only right. a blip on the radar anyway. But Sony is such a massive competitor in the gaming. And you got to think too, Sony's main market essentially right now is their PlayStation division. Sure. That's where they're making their money. So what do you think the gaming industry would be like, the, the the landscape would be like, if they had partnered? And that was a thing, and the PlayStation really never existed. Honestly, I think it would be... Well, the PlayStation would have existed. I, I'm a, sure it would have been a little bit different. In I mean, a matter of speaking, but yes. I mean, they would have sold... They're not sold, but they would have licensed their tech to Sony, and they would have never... Because they felt burned... When when Nintendo went with Philips, yeah, it didn't say anything to him either. Really, I remember reading about that. They just kind of said, "No, nope, kind of, yeah, we're, you know, we're going to do, yeah. we're going to go with this." Yeah, and that was it. So they were like, "Well, you know what? Guess what? We still have the platform. We can right. still build. We our made own. this, right? We still so, made it. So why don't we just build our own platform? Thus, yeah, the PlayStation. The PlayStation. But birth of the PlayStation. Without Sony being a major competitor in the gaming market, I mean, think about like, would Sega still be around? I don't know." That's it's hard to say. It's like it's honestly hard to to fathom. I would imagine, yeah, yeah. why not? Why isn't Sega a thing anymore? Exactly because PS2, yeah, Sony, right? Think about it, man. That's that's it's huge. And do you think Xbox would exist because they came out as a competitor to Sony because of Sony? I mean, who? I don't know. I know, right? It's crazy to think about. I don't know the chain of events. If uh, yeah, if that yeah. would have happened the way you know in it was some supposed to. in some like alternate universe, that's a thing. Oh, I'm sure. It's probably bleak. It's just yeah. one, like, it's just Nintendo. The Switch would probably never exist. It'd just be like... Yeah. Uh, the only games you can play are Mario, and that's it. Yeah, just one Mario game. Yeah, <laughs> we all wear, like, Mario, like, Tanuki suits. We all yeah. have to wear uniforms. Nintendo took over the world. Yep, exactly. It's just this, like, this, this like dystopian Nintendo. Like, how the Super Mario Brothers movie was. Yeah. Where it's just, like, Blade Runner. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That yeah. would have happened for real. Yeah, that would be the world we live in, Blade Runner. And Dennis Hopper would be trying to turn everybody into monkeys. Yeah, Dennis Hopper wouldn't be dead. Yeah. Yeah, so he wouldn't. He would, yeah, he would have lived. He would have taken over the world uh, and been a garbage. Uh, what well, he wasn't even was he? He was King Koopa, wasn't he? Yeah, he was Koopa. He wasn't Bowser. He was Koopa. Yeah. God, I haven't even I haven't read chat in a second. I want to see what chat's saying. Yeah, they're basically talking about the know, the prospect of that being a thing. Yeah, yeah. Ba ba ba. Alternate universe alert. Great game company is due. They have, we don't, it'd be so sad. And a mirror darkly, my pops, dad coming in with a Star Trek reference. Very nice, man. That's actually my one of my favorite episodes is a mirror darkly. That's cool, man. Yeah, so think about it. I don't know, it's cool. But yeah, if you guys are interested, check out Ben Heck on YouTube. Um, he has a bunch of teardown videos. He actually, he made, speaking of Dreamcast, mm -hmm. um, he made a portable Dreamcast. Like from like he had the console from console designed it like had to split a controller in half and like put it no it was way. rad man yeah it was rad so if you That's guys are awesome. interested in like teardowns and engineering Ben Heck show on YouTube he's phenomenal very very smart very very uh, uh, funny guy so yeah hell yeah man that sounds awesome yep so uh, yeah moving on uh, let's talk about Twitch for a minute. <laughs> Love because Twitch. Uh, yeah, Twitch is great. Uh, you know, our experience with Twitch has actually been super positive. Oh yeah. Um, there has only ever been you know a few instances where it's like you know we'd have to bring the ban hammer in and all that stuff, and you know, uh, our community's never been toxic ever. You know, and the people that have been toxic in the past have been weeded out pretty freaking quick. Oh, absolutely. So yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So there are some people on Twitch who are wildly popular. Uh, that do have very toxic communities and, and they're very like, uh, you what know, do you, what do you think it is? Do you think it's like jealousy or do you think it's just like the, the anonymity gives them like, uh, like 
inv- they feel invincible because they're anonymous. Right? I think that's what it is. I think that's most of the internet is people are just, uh, I'm a username, not a person. Right. And so I can do whatever I, can do whatever whatever I, want. I want. Exactly. And damage people's lives and be so, a general exactly. person. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So um, a lot of communities, the streamers themselves may be toxic and that invites people like that into their channel like this individual we're about to talk to or talk about right now. Right. So this guy is uh, a pretty popular. Well, he started off playing RuneScape, if that tells you anything about the type of person he is. Um, <laughs> and he uh, was just, he would just like prank people and he would, he was just like an obnoxious jerk, right? Right. But he was awkward and kind of like, he was kind of funny, but kind of like, uh, you know, weird. It was, he's a weird guy. So he got huge, got huge on Twitch, got partnered, all that stuff. And the issue started coming in that he um, was kind of like toxic to other people. So it invited toxic people into his community. So he would do, you know, donations and things like that, where you could do the the text to speech. And obviously people would take advantage of that and say like really horrible stuff, right? You know, like all kinds of racial slurs and sexist stuff and things like that. So he got banned from Twitch for a little bit, yeah. like a temporary ban saying, hey man, you need to reel this in um so he freaked out about that so then his community got really excited about messing with him as much as they possibly could because of how bad he freaked out about that banning so he started doing irl streams love irl irl streams are great we've done they're one actually, yeah, we've done fun. a couple of them i think yeah, one or fun. two yeah we did two on the road home from pax yeah yeah so it's fun it's 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 a good time right well apparently not at the uh phoenix arizona airport where he was doing an IRL stream while he was flying back home. And somebody figured out where he was. Yeah. Figured out what flight he was on, probably based <laughs> off of the overhead announcements. Yeah. And they called it a bomb threat. So I don't know if you guys know what swatting is, but swatting is when you find a Twitch streamer or YouTuber or whoever does those live streams, you figure out where they are, you yep. figure out their name, their address, whatever. And you call the police in that area and you give some bogus thing and the cops come and bust down your door and arrest you and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, and it's, it's all a, super <laughs> funny. Oh, <laughs> got him good. The, cops, uh, the guys who are out there are supposed to be protecting are wasting their time. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. So <laughs> you can actually go on YouTube and find swatting videos and you can find like a compilation of them. Uh, it's actually pretty terrifying, you know, uh, for some people because they'll have SWAT teams come in. And uh, there was a guy that got shot. And uh, no, his dad got shot. So... <laughs> Yeah. Well, because they, they're, yeah, because they think they're going to somebody, they're, they think there's a bomb. Yeah, they like, think there's a they, bomb, they think somebody's they're getting murdered. Um, and the kid g- that did the swatting, this is a uh, different um, this different story, but same topic, where the kid whose dad got shot, yeah. um, he, the person who called in the bomb threat actually got uh, charged. They found out who he was and got charged with terrorism. Wow. And he's, he spent, he's got like a 20 to 30 years prison sentence. Perfect. In federal prison. Okay. He was a 19 year old kid. Good. Yeah. Well, then let's, let's, if you guys are out there, if you think that sh- that stuff is funny, remember you're a terrorist. You're a te- terror yeah. terrorist. Ter- oh yeah, everybody knows who I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, we don't we don't negotiate with terrorists, okay? Yeah. Man, <laughs> that's wild, dude. You don't so- eat tacos, a terrorist win. Wow. Yeah, that's my George Bush. Not bad, yeah. man. It's no Will Ferrell, but I approve. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, man. So yeah, so it's hey, it's toxic, man. And somebody said, who said that? That it was, uh, he said, yeah, uh, washed phenom said it's washed ice phenom. Poseidon. Yeah, yeah, that's who that is. That's who we're talking about. I didn't want to name names. He's banned from Twitch permanently. So, um, yeah. Hey, what's up, Dave? Uh, so basically, yeah, freaking crazy that it was a bomb threat. They canceled. Well, they got everybody off the plane. Um, and the, the news story from the local news was saying that, uh, the captain came over to the loudspeaker and said, you know, everybody, you know, remain calm. There's a, you know, been a threat to the aircraft, uh, or something like that. And to close all of your, uh, your shades to, yeah. to your windows. And some people obviously open them. Of course. Cause um, you want to see. see, you see like the ATF, FBI, everybody surrounded this plane. Yeah. And they're going through everybody's bags and dude, things like that. Dude, you got to yeah. think, man, like there's kids there. There's like, like. So many people that are like scared because it's like they, I mean, you never know, dude. It could be real. It could not be real. But that's the thing, man, is the cops going into that. They have to treat it as if, as if it's real. They don't know, right? And, uh, yeah, you have no God, idea. Man. That's the thing. You have no idea if it's right. real or not. And you have to react to the call like it's real. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah man. Huge airport and it shut the yeah, shut the airport yeah. down. So, so that's, I don't know, man. It's 
Gamgoon said that the kid who DDoS'd uh, Xbox Live got like 10 years in prison for it. See, that's the thing, man. Yeah. It's like, so maybe that anonymity is is coming to an end. I hope so. I mean, just know that if you're a big enough freaking douche whistle on the internet, the police are going to find out who you are. You're not as smart as you think you are, and you're going to go to prison where you're going to be a meat puppet for the next 20 years. Spin you like a top. That's right. Dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. <laughs> so, anyway... Oh, moving on anyway. up that was an interesting story because i haven't heard about swatting in a little bit and then now it's like this whoa you know they shut down an entire airport yeah that's huge yeah. too, man that's huge yeah Just no lives man no lives people <laughs> that, that do that kind of stuff so and then of course they were doing interviews with the witnesses and the people on the plane they were like yeah this guy was like taking video of himself was acting super weird you know i was super suspicious and that doesn't help his like, case at all that well shut i mean it, uh, yeah yeah, it, yeah you can right. watch his video that he did like his irl stream yeah, and he have, was just do we have the link? Did you? Uh, nah. No. Oh, it's there. Did I put the link there? Yeah, it's in the... Should yeah, we, so I'm going to just... Uh, I'm just going to post the link. If you guys are interested in actually checking it out, yeah. you're more than welcome to. Here's the whole story right here. I was watching the guy. The guy's kind of cringy, too. It's kind of hard to watch. Yeah, he's weird. He's weird, man. Weird guy. All of his followers think it was a rival streamer because moments before he was tweeting that he actually knew where... Uh, ice was oh What's wow a rival okay. streamer i don't understand i don't know that's a rival sounds... can't we all just be friends man we're all doing we're all in it together man we're all in the struggle together yeah believe it or not there are some absolutely garbage people on twitch and i don't mean like their their streams are bad i mean they're a bad no, human i mean beings. they're just not good people yeah, right bad human beings yeah welcome so. to the internet where people aren't good and the money the points don't matter the points don't matter well yeah <laughs> <laughs> and the ad revenue matters significantly yeah, that's all that's all anybody cares about yeah. is, is the money and the the viewership and all that stuff yikes yeah. man do we have rival streamers b howard 10k i like how you're commenting in and you're sitting right next to us dude 10 out of 10 best producer 2017 our our rival streamers yeah scott and i are rival streamers nine one one <laughs> yeah he knows where yeah. i live oh no scott's gonna swat me <laughs> i'm gonna swat you while i'm sitting here oh man why can't we all just get along that's exactly it man let's just yeah. all be friends we're all the instant words we're all... of rodney king so that's that was, was that can we all just said? get along yeah that's, that was that's rodney king oh yeah. wow okay wow. <laughs> okay wow to hashtag team scott yeah well played i'll take it man i don't care he's been doing this longer than me i don't <laughs> uh, i remember seeing a video of ice just before it happened he made the comment of the stream like i'm in the airport gate xyz oh maybe i shouldn't have said that yeah what an idiot anyway team yeah. pj team pj boom there you go we're not creating a rivalry okay but vote for me or I'll find you. <laughs> so anyway. So anyway, what do you got to talk about now? Um, I don't oh. know. I kind of talked about this in the opening, but I'll just talk about it again. So we have some yeah. new uh, content coming through the pipeline um, for our YouTube. If you guys yeah. are subscribed, if you're not, check it out. Uh, we're pretty we're pretty proud of it. I say that a lot. And I don't know. I, I tend to watch a lot of YouTube channels to try to gain some inspiration. And more often than not... Um, I don't know. It's just like, I, I, I see potential in people, but it's like, I feel like they could be doing better. So I use that as kind of like inspiration for our YouTube to kind of just go above and beyond, man, and just give you guys a quality that, um, that you guys deserve as, as, as you know, such an awesome fan base. So yeah. we have a bunch of new videos coming down the pipeline here in the next couple of weeks um, that we're really, that we're, you know, kind of stoked to show you. We got some shorts that we've been talking about doing. We, we have filming to do, but we did a, a bunch of filming a couple days ago, we did a prey video, um, and then we have actually a written review coming up from uh, from our boy Sacred Dave coming up here in the next couple days. <laughs> Dave, um, that'll be going up on, on our website slightlyoriginal.com. But uh, we got a prey video, we got Mario Kart, mm -hmm. we got a VR game, The Wolves Within, that we're yeah. going to be filming. Um, and yeah. then you know, uh, not this week, but the week after is uh, the Tuesday is when Farpoint comes out. So then we'll be doing yes. that video. So there'll be that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we got a ton of videos coming up on the YouTube. Oh, we should, thank you, man. Appreciate that, dude. Appreciate it's it. My sister. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I know who it is, man. Yeah. She's team PJ, man. What the F is that? Cause I'm look at that. Look at that. Also, if you guys didn't notice, we're both wearing the same hoodie. If you guys are interested, if you guys like it, we have a store. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna plug the store too much, but it's go to slightlyoriginal.com and you can find everything you, you need. You can find it. everything you need on it, yep. So so yeah, check it out. Check out our YouTube Ooh. if you guys aren't subbed, check it out. Um, we're proud of it. Yeah, and then, absolutely. Uh, Scott. Absolutely. 
Yeah. Now here's something that you're real excited for. Uh, yeah, Project Scorpio, man. Yeah. So there was uh, some leaked stuff for the Project Scorpio dev kit, uh, which is a uh, version of the Xbox Scorpio. Yes. So yes. it's not the actual retail version. No, it's the one that. Uh, yeah, devs get the devs get right so that yeah. they can uh, you know make games and stuff with it. Yeah. Uh, what's interesting though is the front of it has got a sort of I would say like a mini LED screen on it that's kind of shows frames uh, performance. performance performance stuff yeah. uh, it shows your frames per second uh, and I don't remember exactly what else it showed but it was like um, I think uh, processor usage maybe RAM usage too maybe gpu i don't know i mean there was some stuff on there that i didn't really understand what it meant that's something that i have to research further but it's interesting i mean it's not necessarily going to be the final release of the game or i'm not the game but the the console but uh you know it's it's certainly um a good idea of what it's going to look like so it looks a little bit like the xbox one s yeah except it's just a little taller, a little taller. um but i mean that's not necessarily a bad thing the xbox one s is small yeah, it's I'm, very small. I was gonna say the one is huge. Yeah, <laughs> compared to the the, the original one that came yeah. out. So you know, it's uh, it, it's cool. It's it's nice to see the closer we're getting to the release of the console because it's gonna come out holiday this year. Oh, absolutely. So yeah, yeah, of course it is. Um, so it's definitely nice to kind of get a little bit of information trickling in here and there. Um, definitely excited to look um, look at it some more. Hopefully, E three thirty four days was it? Thirty four days. Yeah, yeah thirty four 34 days, days, man. Yeah. So yeah. Um, can't believe that man oh my god yeah. e3 is like christmas time for me it's like like mid like half year christmas sure yeah half I mean, christmas man <laughs> christmas in june man i had an idea yo actually i'll bring it up after the show because i don't okay. want to spoil it because i'm actually i'm kind of it'll be funny okay i don't know we'll see but that is weird but i want to do a video for e3 but anyway yeah yeah it's cool man scorpio's is rad it's gonna be it's gonna be a beast it's going to be a beast. So get your wallets ready because you're going to need to buy a 4K TV because it's going to be awesome. Well, here's the thing about 4K TVs, man, is Tell that the, the price is starting to come down on them. I found a 40, uh, 40 inch, I believe, for $299. $299? Yeah. I mean, it wasn't like a top brand. It was like a Westinghouse, but it was still, you know, not bad. I'd buy, I had, you know what I had growing up? I had an off brand flat screen. Yeah. It still works to this day and sure. it looks great. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong. I mean, uh, my computer monitor is off brand and it's a, it's a te television. Yeah. Um, I've had a Vizio and you know, I don't, you don't have to get name brand stuff to have good quality. Uh, you're just paying for the name for the most part. It's not really going to be, well, the, a name. And then, I mean, maybe, yeah, I don't know. Maybe like a curved screen from Samsung. Or yeah. Something. The Whatever, Samsung curved screens cooler, are cool. Those are cool. Bells and whistles. Yeah. Ben, you got one for That's a gimmick. Curved screen's a gimmick. Oh, of course yeah. it is. Yeah. I don't know. I actually kind of like the Edge screen, though, or the Infinity screen on the Galaxy S8. Yeah, that's cool, but the... But the curved TV itself curved is TV kind of, yeah, it's kind of a kind of a niche thing. But you got you have a 4K TV? Hmm? For $400. I'm pretty sure that's what I paid. Oh, wow. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we, yeah that's right. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, they're ooh. expensive, man. But you got to get the Ultra HD. That's the important part. You can't get... Because they have 4Ks that aren't Ultra. Yeah. So you got to make sure you grab that if you want to take uh, the high dynamic range, if you want to utilize that asset of the, the Xbox um, One S or the Scorpio, or even the PS4 Pro hmm. for the HDR. So Yeah, but the Scorpio is going to blow the Pro out of the wall. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. I mean, we did an episode so where we did we went over every single spec, compared them. Yeah. And it was like, yeah. yeah. Goo, yeah. Goo. Sorry, Sony. Yeah, just give them Sorry, the, guys. the old cane. Take them off stage. Dave, I've seen, I've seen Dave's... Um, he has his TV set up like for his monitor. Sure. For his PC. It's huge. It's like on the on it's the wall. Massive. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. For forty five hundred pounds though. Yeah, the issue um, with having a large TV like that for computer monitors, I couldn't put it anywhere because I have to have space in front of me. I couldn't put it on the wall. That's what I'm trying to say. I couldn't put it on the wall because I have to have space in front of me for the lights. Yeah. When I stream. Yeah, yeah. So because yeah. uh, you know we light this, by the way. Yeah, we do. We have some soft boxes. We in got here. lights. It's, honestly, it's incredibly hot in here right now too. I wish I'd cooled yeah. it down. These lights heat up super quick. Which actually, too, I'm really yeah. That's yeah, the cool overhead light. Yeah, we're gonna do. Yeah, yeah we're, we're gonna, gonna get a hair gonna, light, dude. Oh my yeah, god, we're gonna look so good. We're gonna blow your guys' minds with the production value from this show, man. Yeah, it's gonna be. We're gonna have to move some stuff around in here, but it's gonna look so good. Yeah, it is. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, 
Yeah. Excited. Yeah. Me too, man. It's going to be fun. I love this show, man. Yeah, it's good. It's I good fun. Show. It's good fun for everyone. Yeah. So with that being said, I think we've got one last thing. And what is that? And God, let it be a normal thing, please. I didn't even set it up, to be honest. Oh, you didn't set it up? Yeah. We, okay, I mean, we can do it real mind. quick if you, no. you want to do it real quick. <laughs> yeah, we can do it. Screw it. Okay. Hold on. Let me... Uh... So we're setting up right now the random website of the week. And God help us. I don't know what it is. Um... <laughs> I'm just going to add it right here. Just add it. Yeah, just add it right here. Who cares? Uh, yeah, there you go. Do, do. Now, this little keyboard we use is a godsend. But I love it. this so much, dude, because I, yeah. like, I was like, oh, I'm going to ask Ben to do it, but yeah, he doesn't have to. He can just sit there and put his foot in, in the shot. Why do we wear sweatshirts? Because we look awesome. Next question. Yeah, seriously. I'm hot, but guess what? I don't care. I look great. We're repping the brand, guys. That's true. We wear our own stuff because we're proud of it. Yeah, that's right. Also, because okay. we think it'd be rad if you guys bought it. Oh, it's this one? Yeah, it just looks cool. Also plays music, so it's probably really loud. Yeah, it looks loud. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's uh, do the yeah, put us in front of it. There we go. <laughs> oh, wow, dude. <laughs> Why don't we do the show like this from now on? This is weird. Is the audio okay? Is it really loud? Audio is loud. Really? Okay. Okay. Cool. <laughs> this looks weird. <laughs> Technology. It's movie magic, guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Chroma key is fun. Chroma, Chroma key. key. More like Bloma bleed. More like Bloma bleed. Am I right? <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. No, it doesn't I don't know why. Make sense. What, what video was that on? Was that the Rocket League one we did a hundred years ago? Oh wow! Yeah, yeah dude, that dude. was a. Man, I don't even remember. Quality. Get my phone. Blown this up. is a really useless website. I know. It's probably the best useless website. It just keeps going lower. Does the, does the music keep going lower and lower? I only watched it for about ten seconds, and then I was like, I hate this. So I'm gonna my put it on the show. Me. Huh? My mom's texting me. Oh, is she watching right now? Yeah, probably. Shouts out to our parents for being loyal subscribers and followers, and and great parents. We love you guys. Thank you so much for watching our show. We just need to get Ben's parents on watching the show now. My parents don't know what Twitch is. Not many people do. When you just try to describe Twitch to people who are not like internet astute, it's like uh, I don't, you go on the internet and shake. I don't know what the, what the Twitch is. What's the Twitch? Okay, so I would explain it as it's uh, live stream live stream broadcasting. Yes. Of games. Yes. But then they're like, well, why are you, why are you doing that? Because you have it's to explain. Fun. Right. Because it's a good time. Well, who would want to watch you play video games? Well, tell me what you do when you go in the living room and watch football. Watching somebody else play a game, right? So, shut up. <laughs> Just, yeah, that's it. So if your parents ever question you, you heard it here from Scott first. That's tell right. your parents to shut up. Yeah, just shut up and get out of my room. <laughs> you know, I'm going to leave that there. You leave it there? <laughs> it just... Yeah. In case like there's like a joke that we tell that's like garbage, just like oh, boo, boo, boo. oh the music's still playing. <laughs> yeah. Boop. <laughs> All right. You just go down to remove. Yeah. Highlight it and hit remove. Explit, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Quality, man. Sad. Quality streaming products for quality streamers. Explit, check it out. Go to explit.com and download Explit Broadcaster today. It's free to use, but you can also subscribe for more features. 1080p. <laughs> On that note. The brown note? The, no. Uh. On that note, guys, that is going to conclude episode 38. Oh, my God. Episode 38. It's over, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's over. I know. Another week where you guys have to go without seeing our lovely live faces. But we love you all. We do. We do. Hey, remember next weekend, guys, we're doing our Operation Supply Drop stream for Slightly Original. Yes, we all are. All right. So uh, you're going to come to this channel, and you're going to see us playing video games all day. Weird, I know, right? Yeah. It's going to be fun. I'm looking yeah, forward to it. it's a little man. something different. We did we did this off for Extra Life last year. We played Halo. Yeah, that was a lot of fun, um, too. That, that was, was a lot of fun. Oh, man, that was a lot of yeah, fun. Yeah, so we're going to... The Master Chef Collection. The Master Chef Collection. That's right, man. Oh, my God. That was yeah. a year ago? 
That was there's no way that, that was, was in November. Ago. It was in November. Okay, I was yeah. gonna say, oh my god, there's no way. Don't leave. It's Alyssa's birthday. I've got to leave. Maybe you should leave because it's Alyssa's birthday. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> All right, so. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that follow button, smash it. So it hit it like so you hard see, you... that you break your computer. And all you can ever watch is slightly original because your computer's broken. Yeah, this episode and all of our other episodes are stuck on loop on your computer. God, we, I wish I was that burned into your image, into your, into your monitor. Just our faces, just this. If only I was you. If only. And then you'd be me. And then you'd be in this chair. You'd be saying these weird things. Well, you know what is funny is my head is there, right? Yeah. Yours is here. Yeah, it's opposite because I it's know. funny. It is. That's what yeah. I said. That's why I said it. Oh, okay. You know what's funny? <laughs> oh, that is. <laughs> yeah. That is. <laughs> cool. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hit that follow button. Check out our YouTube. Check out our Facebook. Check out our Twitter. Check out our Grinder. We're all on there, man. We're all, we're getting weird 24 seven guys. Okay. If it's, if it's on the internet, slightly original has its footprint firmly planted into it. So check us out everywhere. Okay. Check us out on E-Bombs World. Yeah, we're bringing E-Bombs World back, actually. <laughs> and we, new ground. We, we bought E-Bombs World for uh, $14 with our YouTube revenue. With our, with YouTube. our dollar from YouTube, we bought uh, E-Bombs. So. so just to throw it like out there, uh, I just want to clarify. We've actually made more than a dollar on YouTube. I just want to throw that. It's, it's $1.30. So... <laughs> We're almost, we're very nearly at $2. We're getting so. there, man. We're getting there, okay? <laughs> You're going to see it pretty soon. All that YouTube money is going to go into class and up the screen, stream. We're going to get some uh, some tape. For what? Just a tape thing? Just because that's all we can afford. Oh, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Not even, dude. Tape's expensive. That's true, yeah. Actually, if you guys look, I had I haven't gotten under here yet, but I've been using... Well, you're not going to be able to see it. Yeah. It's going to look like ghost tape, but I'm going to show you anyway because a little movie magic for you. <clears throat> We have like green painters tape and all of like the different cracks and like other stuff that like shows that doesn't chroma key. I've been using green tape to cover up. So that's true. There's a little a uh, little behind the scenes movie magic trick. Even the cover is uh, is chroma. That's awesome. Yep. So yeah, check us out, guys. Follow, like, whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Do it. All right. But we love you guys. Thank you so much for watching tonight. This has been episode 38. My name is PJ. My name's Scott. And we're slightly original. That's true. Have a wonderful night. Make sure to give some smooches to your loved ones and give them huggles and kisses and yeah. Bye, y'all. Bye.